Greetings and welcome to Mission 8, Pelican Down on the difficulty legendary with all skulls on except for Bandana. As Bandana just makes it easier, like a lot easier. So what we're going for here is much is uh, increasing the difficulty a few fold. Uh, on top of the broadcast that you're watching here, and I'll you'll hear some of my comments or complaints and grief as I'm playing the game. I'm doing a commentary on top of this to talk about the numerous details, the do's and don'ts, how to how to overcome uh, lots of stuff in this mission. So first off, I got I want to hijack a ghost. This elite is on patrol. This is a scripted patrol that he goes on. And I'm just going to kind of jump out and hijack him. It's real easy. It's just a grapple jack. He doesn't even see me until, you know, until he's grappled. And I do it in this area specifically so that I'm not shot at by any of the other enemies. And so he doesn't get any other support from any other enemies. Uh, I am going to talk about many other details as far as this mission what it entails, what's going on, where we're at. As I shoot up some of these guys here, there's really not much to talk about with uh, with these guys here, other than in the Ghost, I haven't talked much in the Ghost, and when it comes to a lot of these enemies like uh, the Grunts and Jackals, to prevent them from using their weapons and shooting at you, you want to get shots on them. you got to take turns and kind of back and forth. Take your shots and shoot on one. If you find something shooting at you, you want to get shots on it. Get yourself in cover if necessary. So really the trick is you find these grunts, you want to get shots on them and, and uh, get kills on and, and just get them killed. Uh, if you want to get close enough and splatter them, that's fine. But then that puts you in, in a position if there's uh, the numbers of them can overcome you. You get enough disruptor shots on you, you're going to get pro you're going to get stunned and they'll throw nades and ends that run real quick and just go back to checkpoint. Uh, so here I was really wanting to save at least one of these guys. Uh, the other thing is I'm trying to duck in and wait for the stun effect to dissipate. There was a lot of disruptor uh, pings on me. I want to save one of these so I can at least make my way back and get a uh, shield back. Uh, the other thing was I had already started this mission. I had made it to the, the East AA gun, which you can see in the background. Made it to that gun. Um, I had I had made a lot of progress. I spent close to an hour to that point. It was there was just there was just lots of things kind of going wrong and some difficulties here. There's lots of slowdowns and stuff like that. But I end up losing. Uh, which, by the way, I want to mention I'm carrying a regular Sentinel beam and the arcane sentinel beam which is i want to say at least the arcane sentinel beam is 100 percent necessary and you'll get to find out why here in a little while or i mean as the mission goes on um, and what happened is i had set them down for only like a minute or two came back and they had despawned and there was no getting them back so i had to do a restart mission so this is kind of the restart I made I made a little bit better progress and better time on doing it. I've had other runs where I had good time and, and made good. So I was just having lots of bad luck and such. So these guys aren't really difficult. It's just a matter of keeping this ghost in the best condition possible because the attack on this uh, camp or this little mini outpost, you you take lots of damage and you want this thing to last uh, when you get. So you can get the uh, Marines rescued and get them in a hog, and then you don't need the you won't need the ghost anymore. But the disruptor can you know over time and over just you know causes damage, and you get you get plasma pistol that causes damage. You get the you know the jackal majors that have the manglers, and you get damage from that. So I mean, this thing will be on fire. Just pretty much within the gates of the uh, compound that I'm going to get into. Uh, so far, so good. It's okay. It's been taking a lot of disruptor fire. There's some. There's uh, plenty of enemies 
outside the gate, or actually on the way to the gate. There's some right in here I'm going to be encountering. Go over, got one trying to get shots on them, splatter them if I can. That, you know, mangler shoot me. You got this, this, you're going to throw the nades. Using disruptor fire. Here's more disruptor fire. I'm just in the middle of it, and that's the last thing you want to do is be in the middle of all the enemies. Because you can get the fire from all around. And as you'll notice here, I had already taken out that propaganda tower on the the start of the mission, you know, when I had restarted. Well, whenever you take out the propaganda towers, uh, Spartan cores, and things like that, it just, it there's no undoing it or, or for it to uh, reset. So what was already done in the initial run on this, which I, what, what did I clip on there? Because that was a, going to get the splatters. See, this guy, now I'm just caught up and I'll get shot up more and more by disruptor fire. You can come up to this area without triggering the reinforcements. I'll show you where... Yeah, I need to try to get my shield. And I'll sh try and point out best I can where the trigger line is. Uh, the trigger line, right up this ramp where those two patches are, like on the left and the right, those patches just before the top of the ramp, you cross that line that, that initiates the reinforcements, and that bridge that those grunts were on, when you cross not just necessarily the midway point, but more like the three-quarters point of the bridge, pretty much if you cross or get just get to the other side of the bridge, you're going you're gonna to trigger the reinforcements. Reinforcements is going to be... Three drop pods, two of them in the foreground on the ramp, which are going to be grunt, I mean, brute majors, and the one in the back is going to be a jetpack brute major. And the goal here is use, have this ghost in good condition. Here I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to take out some of these grunts before I trigger things because the last thing you want is to uh, go after that jetpack brute major, the uh, other brutes. Yeah, that's just silly. Yeah, I was having problems with this, boy. It's just the, the rocks and the terrain. And so, you want to go after these uh, brutes without any kind of accompanying uh, support from the other little guys. So I want to take these guys out. And I don't want to go across the other side. It, it, those, the grunts, they've got heavy armor. It takes a while to get the shield down. And once the shield is down, it seems like it takes just as much, if not more, to get the kill on them. And they, of course, they move around quite a bit. And there's a, a, a jackal major under the, uh, the platform. He, he's scripted to stick around in that area. He doesn't move around and leave that area. There's also, just to that right, that little... Okay, I'm going to go and trigger these guys, get the splatter on this one on the right, back up, splatter the one on the left, and then back away. And then go straight for this jetpack brute major before he can get airborne. And now I've got the pretty much the hardest part done. Those guys can really wreck, you know, wreck the thing. These, uh, the ghost will last me. I think there's just two or three or four grunts to go. Two in that little building I'm looking at right now where I'm facing. There's two in there. The Jackal Major under the platform, under the ramp. And I want to say there's still another grunt. Yeah, there's still one more grunt under the ramp, but more to the left. And I was really hoping to at least get one kill on one of those grunts inside that building. If I can get one of them down, then I can go get in there and punch out the other one so I'll have a shield. So I was really kind of wanting to save this one. This is also kind of a difficult area because that jackal, so if I can get myself in the right spot, that jackal can't see me and won't shoot me. But then the, the grunt starts getting involved once they throw nades, making it difficult. So this, you know, it's taking a little while, but it's a slow play. You want to take it slow.
Alright, now it's just the, uh, the jackal. I'm having a hard time there because I didn't get to grapple. Yeah, and now I'm good. So now it's just, uh, free these two prisoners and escort them to the, uh, the chain hog. And I'm gonna take the chain hog and go straight to, uh, the east AA gun. I w allow these guys to do their scripted motions after being freed. They're going to go pick up a couple. They're each going to pick up a weapon. Once that's done, then they're free to pretty much be linked, and you can get them linked to you. And then when that goes on, then I'm going to go ahead and give them the uh, point, go ahead and give them weapons. Uh, one's going to pick up a BR, and I think I'm going to hold on the BR for a little while. If not, well, pretty much, I think the whole mission. And I'm going to give this other one the uh, regular center beam. Okay, now, sure. why do I have two or one of each? Because if you get a point late in the game and you lose, uh, you lose a marine, you lose one of the weapons or something like that, uh, you absolutely want to have either the regular or it's really you want to have the the arcane up. sentinel beam for the end of this mission for the boss fight. And uh, you, re you also really want it for, really for this whole mission. But if you happen to lose it, then um, that's why you have the other one. The, the regular one can still work and do its job for, you know, finishing the Eyes mission. The it just becomes a, a bit harder. Uh, in addition to if you did not bring a Sentinel Beam at all, you didn't bother getting one, you didn't bring one, your backup is to give your Marine passenger a Hydra. And you'll find the Hydra, which when I get in the Ghost, or I mean when we get in the Hog and move along and to, through the Basin, uh, I'll show you where you can where you can get that. There's there's actually three Hydras on this map. There's there's actually a fourth one, which is the Pursuit Hydra, which is the variant. I don't. I'm not going to mess with getting it. I'm not going to get the Hydras because I'll manage to hold on to the Sentinel beams throughout the entire mission. And as I was saying about the passenger, you want the passenger with the arcane sentinel beam. The difference between the two is the arcane, well, let's just start with the basic one, the base one. It has a broader range as far as its length, its beam. It's got a broad range. Uh, secondly, its uh, power is, you might say, weaker, or you say arcane sentinel beam is a stronger beam. It does more damage. The uh, so, so talk about the arcane sentinel beam compared with the the basic one. Its beam is shorter, so it's a shorter range. Its strength of beam, the damage that it does, is more powerful than the regular. The amount of ammo that you use, say per clip, is a lot less than the regular one. And the overall ammo you keep, you know, overall is less than the than the regular sentinel beam. And so they're notice that have that uh, propaganda tower down. I went a little too far, and this camp reset, and now there's enemies, and my marines are engaged with the enemies, throwing nades. The enemy is throwing nades. I have to kind of get involved. I couldn't go back to checkpoint, because I think it already gave me a couple checkpoints, and I couldn't go back any further. And uh, this, this was just a headache, so... Now, these guys are finally cooperating, and they're moving away, so I just want to get these guys uh, away from the camp and get them to the hog. Uh, the other two items that were already collected in the first run before I, you know, as I did the, you know, that wasn't broadcast, which where I actually is broadcast, but it's not part of this video because I'm only going to show you from the uh, beginning to the end. Minus the the restart, and in the restart was just the uh, that propaganda tower. I collected a Spartan core, which when we drive up to it, I'll point out where it is. And then there's a second propaganda tower that I also destroyed, and I'll be pointing that out as well. So here I get here right away. We got the uh, uh, they're in the wrong seats. So what I do is I. You push the button that you use, I think it's the jump button, to change seats. When you do that, it kicks out the gunner. 
and what you want to do is push the the uh, the passenger closer to the rear, and he'll get in the gunner seat. Being that the uh, gunner was kicked out, and he's just kind of secondary, and then whoever's the next one. Then when you get back in, typically the uh, passenger will get back and will get into the gunner seat. So doing a little driving around. I'm going to pick up this rocket launcher. This rocket launcher ammo is a two and two because it's in a rack. Uh, there are other rocket launchers that are laying around. They're not in a rack. They are placed, which means that they're only going to be a two shot rocket launcher. So as of right now, I have a full rocket launcher. And I'm trying to recall what I use the rocket launch for. I don't think I even use it in this mission. I think it's for like a contingency for the uh, the hunters. So here it is. I, and this is what I was talking about. I'm saving a grunt for in case I need a shield. So here's one. Instead of having to deal with three of them, I just have one. Now I've got problems with the rocks here. They want me to clamber. And it, what a mess. So here I'm going to get back in the hog and see if these guys get back in the same seat. Sometimes they will get back in the same seat. Other times you it just gets reset and you have to do it all over again. So I think it worked out because it's hard to tell. I have to go full screen and look at this. So I, they're in the right seat now. Now moving to the AA gun, you want to take out these enemies here in the basin at the bottom. As in, you see some of them walk in there, and there's others that kind of like by the pond here, straight ahead and just a little left. I'm putting a threat sensor down for the uh, the sniper that's in the uh, the tower. He didn't even show up on the threat sensor. I think he eventually will when he hears what's going on. So you want to take out these enemies here in the in the basin on the way. And once you take these out, you're either going to have two brutes or two jackals here on the right. Here it happens this time to be two brutes. That arcane sentinel beam is lethal. It is doing its job. The gunner is doing his job. Getting damage on these guys so that they're not shooting. And that's what you want. You want this gunner shooting on the enemy so that you're not getting shot at. And this is what I mean by you want to take these enemies out down here. Because if they linger, you're just you're just getting, you know, shot in the back for nothing. I mean you're just getting free shots on you. Up there where I'm shooting, there's some grunts. There's a propaganda tower up there that I already destroyed in the in the uh, that was part of the restart that was earlier done, and that would make the second of two propaganda towers. We've got long distance I do want to mention the way that um, I learned a new way after the fact of uh, watching this and doing this. I found another way to take the hog over there, so. There was like two or three tries in order to get that done, and it was just a real mess trying to drive up there. And I'll when we get there, I'll, I'll show it to you. So I want to take him out. Got my shield back. Want to get these guys in the right seat? Are they going to do it? Yes, they're in the correct seats. And then here I'm going to drive up this path. As you notice, it was probably back to checkpoint. I had a death. Oh, and then I have to do. I have to kill this guy again. And I want to get the uh, the stalker rifle. Another thing I kind of missed on. Oh yeah, oh, here he shows oh, up. Also note, if you want to give your marine a rocket launcher, I do not recommend rocket launcher at all because you have a lot of close quarters firing, or at least close quarters with the enemies, and they're not going to fire the they're not going to fire the weapon. Here they got in the wrong seat now. So here I'm gonna. I think I'm trying to check out, and look, and evaluate what's going on. I think there's being that there's two more snipers. I want to get these guys in the right spot too, so they Sorry. get in the right seat. There's still two other snipers. There's gonna be one okay. up at the foot of the AA gun, the top of the cliff. Now here we go. We're gonna go up the this side here. See this? This is rather precarious. It's not good traction, and as you come up here, you can get stuck by a nade so easily. I mean, you're just kind of like at free reign to get stuck by a nade. So this was just a successful one. Here comes another nade. 
And as you'll notice that that Propaganda Tower is already destroyed. It's already down. It was already done. So that's two of two on Propaganda Towers. It was already done. So just about ready to get to jump out and look for the snipers. Now the order I'll do this in, and of course you may say it may not seem to matter, but the one at the top of the foot, or like at the foot of the AA gun, he's just going to hang out and hide until there's something to come out and do. I'm going to take this rocket launcher and I'm going to move it up to this down pelican that you kind of see up there. And it turns out that uh, I won't even use the a the uh, rocket launcher, but I will be looking for it later on when I get up there, and it will have already despawned. Uh, also, in that cave is a sleeping grunt, so if you have the need for a to get a shield, and you're not sure if you got a sh if uh, you want to get your shield back, then you can just sneak up on this guy in here as long as the Marines don't mess it up, and you should get a shield back there. So now let's just make the way back to the hog, get the marines in there, and I'm going to be looking objective. for taking out the uh, two snipers before working my way up the road. This does seem like it's taking a little bit of time. There's a lot of planning, a lot of stuff going on here. The reason for this stalker rifle, you can say, sure, you might use it for a shot or two on the snipers, but it's really for later on on some grunts. And I also even recommend if you want, you can just go ahead and use it to take out some of the grunts from distance. The thing is, this stalker rifle that you pick up only has anywhere between 26 to 29 percent uh, charge in it. And it's going to be a little bit, in fact it will be up the road before you can get to uh, a plasma ammo dispenser to get it filled up. So you really, you're only you're not going to get too many shots with it. And I'm not going to use it. Until I get it filled. So, here I'm going to put the threat sensor down to find out where the, the sniper is up the road. Or I'm at the, the A gun. And where I'm looking there, where that, uh, that plasma, that uh, shot coil, that's where the other one is. And typically, if you can't get the shot on them, like I'm not getting the shot on them, you can just shoot that coil and it'll kill them. And then he'll poke his head out, which is what I was talking about. The order I do it in, whenever you, you, you're firing your weapon, that alerts the other enemies, especially that, that jackal up there. Otherwise, he's not going to peek until he hears something going on. And good thing is, these guys got in the right seat. This is a difficult uh, portion right here. This is really kind of hard to do. You got these grunts that were thrown a. You can get stunned. You have the elite that's going to throw nades. You have to always be moving. There's not, it's not good for driving. So it's hard to keep moving. It's hard to keep mobile. It's hard to have some kind of flow and movement. You have these, uh, these explosive coils, the plasma ones, and there might be a shock one here or there, but it's, it's got these plasma ones and they do air of effect on the ground. You peek and then they throw nades. There goes one. You have him who's just kind of waiting for the the Marine to, you know, kill that one. Well, it was taking so long. And that elite's a bit aggressive, and then he goes back in. Here comes some more nades. This is difficult. I mean, this took several tries. All kinds of bad luck. All kinds of things just kind of went wrong. Even though I was kind of driving and moving, or at least drove, and then I got where I had almost had to stop, back up, and then go forward, and then back up, because there's not much room for driving, and you just get stuck with a nade. Got stunned. The elite got involved. He shot shot a few times with. And here I'm trying to use the threat sensor, and I pushed the wrong button. And uh, the challenge here is this elite. If I, you know, getting the elite is is the difficult one, then I can just kind of work on these grunts one at a time, and then save one to get the shield back because that took damage. And here comes another nade. So it's just kind of back and forth between this door, this back door, and the main door. You peek too long at that back door, and you're going to get stuck with a nade. Now I got that done, and all I have is just the one grunt left. Now I can just hop out and just punch him and get my shield back. Now I don't want to go too far away from these Marines, because they'll, they'll go up the road and work on those jackals up there. Good work. 
All clear. No so sign of hostiles. just up we'll above me is where that uh, start where that uh, jackal sniper I killed him. So I'm going to be jumping up there and getting the ammo. But then, as it turns out, I really don't need the ammo. But it's pretty good to go ahead and get it, so I don't oh, apologies, completely sir. drain the plasma ammo Ready dispenser. Again. But it turns out I'm only going to dig into it once because there is a. I want to say there's another plasma ammo dispenser, and I'm not thinking of it right now. If there is a, another one. <laughs> So I th thinking here, looking at notes that uh, appears that there's only one plasma ammo dispenser for this AA gun. The others have two or three of them. The other AA guns, those areas have two and three of them. Yeah, us, that one was that took a while. And I think this is where I realized, oh yeah, there's a plasma oh, and a kinetic ammo dispenser in here. Let's go ahead and ammo up. And get these guys in their seats. So this AA gun, when you cross a trigger line, you got, got these shotgun. enemies are going to come out of the uh, the cave, which is going to include On the gun. Uh, six grunts, and they're going to split into two groups of three. There's going to be a couple jackals that stay in the cave. They'll come out later. And then two hunters, as in two red hunters. And there's a, you know, going to be a great deal of uh, trying to get... To, the plan together or not necessarily get the plan together. I mean, it's not much, it's an easy plan. It's just a matter of carrying it out. It's just going to take some time to kill these guys. So you want to drive through here Only to the left where this road. Spartan core Let's is. Take out off. these two jackals. There's a jackal sniper right up there where he's been shot at. And then you drive through here, which is for some odd reason just really challenging. The game just doesn't like you to want to drive through here. I have done this hundreds of times and don't recall this 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 much difficulty driving up through here. What is so hard about that? And so, if it takes too long, those hunters are just going to blast you. And I got lucky that they didn't get they didn't get to shoot at me. So up here at the top of the hill, there's several things I want to mention about this area. When I was the reason why I had to restart this is I set down some weapons and they despawn. And it, it, it really doesn't take long. It could be a matter of seconds. It could just take a matter of minutes. And they're going to despawn. They're going to be gone. And that's it. So the thinking and the planning here was, being that there's six other grunts, uh, I don't want my Marines shooting at the grunts. I want them shooting and spending their time focused on fo doing their focus fire on the hunters. The last thing I need is for these guys, even if they shoot and miss, I don't want them shooting and missing at a grunt or even getting a kill on a grunt. So I want to take them out from up here. And the reason what do you got on the sensor, I was, I put down their weapons was I gave each of them a, I uh, gave one of them a sh uh, the rocket launcher, gave the other one the volatile skewer, so that they had something, so they can, hey, they can at least get some shots on the hunters, and that didn't turn out so well, because the hunters were shooting back, even though it seems kind of far away, yeah, they were shooting back. So I want to save one, if not two of these grunts, but one in each grouping. See, this one that's shooting at me on the left isn't necessarily going to be seen, I think, much by the by the Marines, but I went ahead and was like, hey, he's going to be annoying, so I'm going to take him out. And with these other three grunts that I'm shooting at, I'm going to take one, if not two of them out. I, I am going to take two of two of them out, so really I'm going to kill five of the six. Save one of them, so I can, uh, so after the hunter fight, I can use one of these guys to get my shield back. So if you've noticed on the the stalker, if uh, you make all shots count, it's four, sh four headshots, or at least three body shots, one headshot. As long as they count and you get that four shots a headshot, it just takes four shots to take out the grunts. Pull up on the gun and itch it for payback. Now I got that part done. I'm going to take these guys. We're going to drive gun. back. So Let's what go. happened is I dropped the sentinel beams, ran over here, killed those grunts, and then drove back and the sentinel beams were gone. And not only that, it gave me a couple uh, checkpoints to where I couldn't revert back to a prior checkpoint and reclaim the uh, the weapon, so I had to do a restart. And this is this is where I was at with the restart. So the uh, 
the thinking here, at least the plan is going to be to give one of the, at least the passenger marine the volatile skewer, and I'll just carry the uh, sentinel beam so there's no accidents or anything. Uh, and what I mean by uh, weapons despawning, this was one of the things in a previous run, as in like a rather distant run, I walked over here, Wait, dropped my weapon to pick sure? up the skewer, and tried to juggle it over to this this path. Mm -hmm. And in the process I'm of juggling, the, the weapon disappeared. And like I said, in a prior run. So it get wasn't this run. So my suggestion is if you want to get that skewer, pick up a weapon that's laying around that you're not going to use, that's kind of useless, like an AR, uh, a needler, or something like that. So you notice I picked up a needler, picked up Let's the skewer, roll. and then just came back over here. I'm going to leave the BR behind. There is another BR up in this area that I can pick up. As long as you don't touch it, it's going to be there. It's always going to spawn. It's permanently there. Uh, the one I've dropped will will still be there when this is all done. So I have what I want, and now it's just a matter of driving and moving and staying out of uh, making sure I avoid being shot by the hunters. They have a rapid-fire shot if... If you haven't seen or talked about, or if I haven't talked about it, it is lethal. They have, it is fierce. They get lock on, and they lead their shot, and it's and they you get hit by that, and you're done and gone. You also want this hog to last because it's going to get beat up. It's going to lose tires. If you lose more than one tire, you might as well just destroy it, and or just revert to checkpoint, suicide, blow yourself up. Because you need to be moving. If you move too slow, these hunters are going to get you. There's some rapid fire that is just barely avoided. So here's the method that I use. You can use whatever method you want. If you have a better method, if you have another way of doing it, you'd like. I want to drive toward them so I can see if they're going to shoot. And then if I do see the shots coming, I can turn them and turn away and evade being shot at. I'm doing this kind of back and forth, but really the method is to kind of drive toward them and then turn and loop and here, I just got, yeah, I lost a tire. I took a lot of damage on that, but in the end, I ended up getting one of the uh, hunters killed and it turns out the, the other one was pretty well damaged. I think he was only three shots from the skewer from being killed. But this was kind of a hard part. I had several deaths. There were several times I got killed. I had a, an awful checkpoint right about here. And whenever I came back from the checkpoint, I'm being shot. And it was just died over and over. There were shots in the air and got killed. This hog is was a one shot. If I was hit one time, it was going to build up to detonation and blow up. So that made it, it just looked easy, but really it's it's just a matter of being able to move, drive, and not get shot. Make sure you have, uh, you are looking forward. You keep, you keep your 12 o'clock so that your passenger can see the target. He can see, uh, as long as you use the hood as like your 12 o'clock, your passenger What's is going to see sir? from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. And works best if you're well, uh, you got your weapon, enemy between sure. eleven and one, which is like your twelve o'clock. You get him, you give him that, and he's Locking gonna shoot. Being that it's a marine with the volatile skewer, he can he doesn't. It didn't seem like the, there's much of a reload going on. He can shoot, and within like a second, shoots again. Within a second, shoots again. And you know it takes a while for that thing to reload, and they can shoot much faster yeah, than like uh, you and I than 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 the players can. So there was good that my BR was still there. Didn't really matter much because there's a there's a plas there's a kinetic ammo dispenser. I could have picked picked up one of those placed BRs, got it fully loaded, and I would have been fine. There's one grunt left, so I could get my shield back. There's also two more uh, jackals. They're jackal majors. I do kind of forget about them until pretty much right about the moment when they show up and then I realize oh yeah there's these guys so here get my shield back heard it charge take him out before he can shoot me jackal majors in the cave uh, not heading there yet 
I think I was thinking about getting... Oh, yeah, here you got the Spartan Core I want to go ahead and get. Looks like this guy was going into zombie mode, so it was good I showed up next to him. I'll just... Yeah, uh, BR, I guess, is full. I uh, gotta get the Spartan Core. Feels good finally fighting alongside Spartans again. Spartan Core 3 of 5. There is something I want to mention. It is a little difficult and hard to do. But if you find guys. this, the hog you're using is pretty much trashed, you can set it aside, go to the top Hold of the up. hill, and there's a new hog. But keep in mind what my method is, is I want a new hog going into the next fight with the next AA gun, as in a new, fresh, undamaged hog. If you find the hog you're driving in is undrivable, you can drive it up here, leave it, or you drive it off a cliff, whatever you want to do. So there's that other Hydra. Um, is this hog here is in perfect condition, and you figure, hey, just use it for the fight on the hunters. Sure. Do that, but when you're done with the fight, or if it becomes damaged or something like that, and you want a new hog, you can drive this to the edge of the cliff and push it off, punch it off, It'll be destroyed, and you come back to this area, and you'll have a fresh new one. So that's your little trick for if you find your hog is wrecked and, and just in, in a wreck, and you can't, and it's not usable anymore. Just come up here, get the new one, use it until you get your the hunters down, drive it off a cliff, push it off a cliff, and uh, then you come up to this area and get a new one. Now it's possible because when I was doing experiments with this. It reset the area, as in all the weapons were reset, enemies were reset. I have no idea what that will do once you've killed off all the enemies. Uh, so that's that's something I just I probably need to to uh, experiment on to see if how viable that is. But the thing was, I think if you go too far away out of range of this area, like there was an out of bounds kind of near that cliff, or when you go down the cliff that I think that reset this area. But the trick is you can just push it. You the hog has to be destroyed off the cliff and in no man's land down into the abyss because if you just throw a nade on it and blow it up, it's not going to despawn and the new one will not respawn. And then you've just kind of ruined your chance for a new hog. Got it here. So I want to take these two guys out. And they'll go up and take out the uh, the AA gun. We've got long distance capabilities. Ready to go, Chief. See you shoot. Come in. There I tried to grapple. Good thing I got a punch on them and got my shield before they killed them. I probably would have lost my mind. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm gonna take the hog and I'm gonna park it right under the exit so whenever I destroy the core and um, jump out I want to jump out to where the hog is Secondly, I think the the Marines will kind of more likely wait in that area or at least near the hog around the hog or wherever I'm gonna be so this was kinda like the area to, to where I was gonna park it and I could just jump out there's that little platform that doorway exit and I can just hop out right here into the hog and go what I have found in is I have a full shield, I'll go up, destroy the core, hop down, get in the hog, drive away, or actually as I'm getting in the hog after the explosion, my shield will appear damaged. And here. so it's one of two things. One, I'm, I might be, or it just might be you're just too close to the core when you destroy it, and you just might take some damage from it. Secondly, are you taking damage from the explosion from the 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 uh, that was created. That's well, really kind of one of those two things, but it, it's 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 real frustrating for Lazo That's because it. you want Grab your shield back. Now, inside. granted, they made down. a change in the game so that if your shield is damaged, you can still get checkpoints. But it used to be, and it's what I'd prefer. Used to be, you have to have a full charge and undamaged shield in order to earn checkpoints. That's really what I prefer, and I can talk more about that when I get the opportunity to. Uh, there's there's been plenty of stuff I haven't been able to talk about here you got this rack if some one thing was just not noticed was uh, there's two dynamos on that uh, rack and that can come in handy. Up. 
So what I want to test out, need to experiment with, is is it the explosion that's caused me? So I need to go in and do this with uh, with blind, where, where blind is not activated and blind is not on, so I can see where the damage comes from. Uh, because you activate the button, you open the door, the doors get open, we're exposed, the core is exposed, and what I think I ought to do is to step back as far as I can and then shoot the core. Because I kind of wonder if I took damage from that or damage from from the explosion. So there's the explosion. One way I would have known if I'd gotten in the hog before the explosion. The banished are mobilizing in a big way. Ticking, yeah, and I'm kind of How upset because, yeah, we I went through some down. trouble to get my shield back, and it's now cinched. But, yeah, like I'm saying, the uh, and the I'm still going to earn checkpoints, goal. even though my shield's we damaged. The ring. But why? Maybe they want to go home, too. Okay. So, the next step is now go to the north central AA gun. There's a few enemies. I'm just going to drive past them. I'm not going to engage them. I'm just going to drive past them. I'm going to take the road up to the A gun instead of the elevator to the A gun. Enemy vehicles on the way. There's the down. other ghost. There's two ghosts. That particular ghost where you leave, he's got a scripted path that he patrols, which is similar to the the one at the beginning, but he's he patrols more closer to this area. So you get a co-op partner, co-op partner, uh, that gets the ghost can help out your uh, partner on foot, hijack the other ghost. And so if you go into doing co-op with, uh, you know, two players, then uh, that's, that's what you're looking to do is get yourself two ghosts. Each AA gun, well I say each AA gun, really two of the three AA guns will have ghosts. Uh, as, in, as in, like, um, two part and available to use ghosts. At the base of the elevator Look of this AA gun, the there's an available ghost. Online. It's off to the right. You kind of have to uh, run around and look for it. I'm going to park it. I'm not going to really use this ghost now. I think I end up using it later. There is something I also picked up on, and I really didn't understand, or you know, I didn't realize. But because I didn't realize, because I'm typically going to kill all the enemies anyway. Uh, I'm going to do as the game is intended, kill all the enemies, Buckle and up. then activate the button to, to, in other words, push the button to activate the lift. Well, it turns out you don't have to kill the, you don't have to kill any enemies. You can activate the the lift, go up the lift, blow up the AA gun, and then leave the area without killing a single enemy. Uh, but where that becomes a little bit of a problem is if you have these Marines, well, you're just not going to leave the Marines behind. They're going to get killed if you just leave them for the enemies to kill. So I'm not necessarily going to be uh, banning the enemy. Oh, by the way, there's a shade turret here, and for some reason it's not occupied. It is a big challenge to take out the turret. I didn't bother to bring rocket launcher or anything to take it out what you could some of these racks in this area have a ravager in fact there's one up here at this rack that I was just looking at the top this little uh, hex pier complex there to the left there's a rack with a, uh, a ravager and that'll that'll work well that'll work well on the uh, taking out the shade turret but it turns out there's no one in the shade turret, so I want to blow it up before someone decides to get into it. There's also going to be two jackal majors in this little area right here. They, they can be problematic, so I at least want to shoot one, and I'll punch out the other one for shield. The other one, he's going to push up. He's aggressive. And again, just having more difficulty with my equipment. The, the terrain, all the stuff, it's hard to move around, you know, always having to clamber on stuff, and I'm trying to move up, and things are getting in the way, it's, it's, it's difficult. Not a good grenade throw. 
I uh, use the nades because I, you have these two nades that I found on the ground over here, so I'm going to go ahead and pick them back up. They're not Let's selected, but I think I will find a way to get them selected. Let's roll. Oh, already this hog is taking a bit gun. of damage. This is a difficult, uh, a, a difficult section. Actually, all three AA guns are difficult in their own in their own mind uh, when it comes to Lazo. Um, you have lots of grunts, witch shields, throws nades, stun you with, you know, they got disruptors. There's also some up on the ridge up above behind me that just shoot down on me. And, and that's just, just annoying. So I forget that I've got a stalker rifle. I could have just topped out and just shot him with a stalker rifle. And uh, I just kept forgetting that part. It was just annoying. They'll do that. So, you got, you know, the grunts you got to deal with. You have the brutes that are going to throw nades. They got the rocket launchers. Uh, you got these elites. There's going to be plenty of elites or several elites that, uh, you know, cause problems. They throw the nades. They got the heat wave. You get a shot or two from the heat wave. And then your, your hog is wrecked. On fire. Losing... Losing. Oh yeah. By the way, there are three snipers. Sniper eliminated. Good work. There was one on the rooftop of this building that I'm looking at. There. There's one on top of that building that just got the threat sensor. Let me There's one the sniper charge. right, right there in front, at that foot. So I think one at the back right on foot, the one at the front left foot of the AA gun tripod, and one on the building. And those are your three snipers, so they drop stalkers, so if you want to get a stalker, you can get one from there. Inside this building is the uh, Spartan Core. It would be Spartan Core 4 or 5. And so, also part of what I mean is this takes some time. you got these enemies throwing nades, you get stunned, lots of bad luck, and it's... It's... It's, uh, it, it's quite the challenge. And you got these two elites. They work together. Got to keep moving. And then when he takes enough damage, then he's going to go camo. And I'm having trouble with the drive. Something's going on with the driving around here. But I think the d the hug's taken up enough damage that it's now lost uh, significant horsepower and it doesn't have the speed and the pickup that it used to. So the next portion here is... And it, I can't say it's necessary, is I'm going to go take out the enemies that are on the top of the elevator dock. It's not necessary, but why I say it's kind of, you know, kind of... Oh, here, I just want to point out, I do leave some of these deaths in just to show just the bad luck and how easy it is for you get stuck by a nade. You know, the hog was, you know, it's not moving at the speed it could. So I'm going to do a second attempt and try and drive through here just missed the nade. You got two elites. Heat waves. Shot again, shot again, and just like that, gone. So, at this point, I decide I'm going to get the ghost and use the ghost. And where that becomes a bit of a problem is, I don't know how these marines are going to... Are they going to follow? Because if they follow, I mean, I feel like they're just probably going to get in the way. They're going to get killed. There's going to be a problem. I don't want to have them lose a sentinel beam and so on. This is my stop. So here I'm just going to get the... Uh, goodness, I cannot get my equipment right. But that's because blind is on. You can't really see what what is selected. So this was also difficult. I had lots of bad luck with this run with the ghost. So I ended up trying to do something different. I don't know why I took this route or what I was doing. But I ended up getting oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You fucking did awful it. checkpoint down here. I got down here and it gave me two checkpoints. I could not revert Come out of on, here. Game. And it was difficult to drive out of here. Having problems with the ghost. Getting upright. Getting flipped around. Getting caught on rocks, flipping upside down. Here we go again. And it is just aggravating the 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 hole I got myself stuck in. At the same time, I'm getting real upset because I don't know what's what's happened to the uh, the Marines. Because I was down there for a while. I couldn't get out of there. And when I did get out of there, the 
I got stuck by a nade, I got vaporized by the heat wave, and here I wanted to get over to make sure that the, uh, the Marines are still around. They are. So that was a good thing. The Marines are still there. So it was just a matter of taking these guys out, which I have yet to mention because of all the action going on. The reason why I'm taking these guys out because while I'm trying to look at the uh, that building that has... Yeah, here I just want to show you just how just dangerous I get in the middle of everything. And that's what can happen. You get stunned. You get st stuck by nades. It's it's really difficult. And it's, and it's difficult to, to get the method and do a slow play on this. Because I'm just getting impatient. I just want to get in here and get this done. I mean, I'm going to spend enough time on it and... Splatter, splatter, give me another one, give me another one. And then I'm stunned. Now I'm like, I'm having a good run. <laughs> You're the two big threats of this section at the top of the elevator section, that is, is the brute and the two elites. You take those three out, and then you can slow play and then take out the rest of these guys. And then it's manageable. It is much more manageable when you get those guys out because if you're engaged with the elite, the brute's going to shoot you with with the rocket. If you're again, if you're engaged with one of the other elites, the the grunts are shooting you. They're throwing nades at you. They're going to stun you with the disruptor. You go after the brute. The elites are going to shoot you with the height with the heat waves. They're going to throw nades. The, then all the other enemies are shooting and engaging you. So it's and it's also difficult to shoot them from afar because. You're going uphill into the area, and there's not much, and they also take cover, and it's hard to see them. So Leave it's quite start. the challenge to have to take these guys out, doing it slow play, kill one at a time. These guys dropped the weapons they had in favor of the heat wave. They got delinked, and now it's just a Always simple a link, to, got them linked back up. And then I started to, um, not quite panic, but then I got real antsy. With what happened with the other heat, with the other uh, sentinel beam, uh, but it turns out it'll it'll show, it'll show up here in just a moment if you didn't catch it already. Let's go. You don't just, yeah, take the long way around. Yeah, Let's thanks, go. Marines. Take the long way around. So here it is, off to the right. There's the other sentinel beam. I catch it, I'm up and I'm going to. Uh, yep, doesn't want to get out, so I have to get in the hog and kick him out. And then work my way over and uh, give, collect the sentinel beam and give it to him. Buckle up. Yeah, this marine is looking up the on the ridge right, because yeah, there's the grunts up there want to shoot down. Yeah, thanks, thanks, uh, grapple. I looked right at that weapon to grapple and it grapples the ground. Oh, it's just infuriating. Lots of frustrations with this mission. There's. And I've yet to even talk about uh, here in the gun. beginning where where we are and uh, as far as the status of everything. Ready to move. So the the dock is cleared. The next portion here is I'm I I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do here first. I think I'm going to go up the lift and um, take out the core and destroy the AA gun and then. Uh, take out the enemies in the uh, where the Spartan core is in that building. Uh, but I kind of do a mix of both. I do visit that building. I I might kill one or two things or kill one thing and then decide I'm going to go up the lift, making sure that uh, sword is 100 percent. There were three elites in this area, so it, it's enough to uh, get a full sword. Might actually be four elites. Yeah, four elites. There were two at the entrance coming up the road. There were two here where I'm aiming at, where I'm looking at. There were two in this area here. And then two on the top of the dock, top of the elevator dock. So I've got, some, got plenty of weapons here trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And and I'll watch yours. That, but it's just, I want to get up the lift, take out the core. And then get the Spartan core and get out of here, and start working on uh, getting the next AA gun. So while this is going on, I'm going to mention at the beginning of this mission, which is how I was hoping to talk about at the very beginning, but I got tied up with the, the commentary. 
your Valor should be at 2350, given that you're, you have followed with what I have followed, and that is take out all the, uh, uh, the, the banished outpost, uh, destroyed the prop, all the propaganda towers, rescued here. all the squads, which would give you the 2350. And so, if when you complete this mission, you earn 350 valor, and by doing that, then you have enough valor to uh, requisition a wasp. Uh, in this mission, there are five Spartan cores, four propaganda towers. Ready to do some damage. There's three AA guns, which are your objectives, and at the conclusion of the AA guns, then you have the boss fight with the uh, the two war chiefs. The uh, Tavarius and Hyperius. Tavarius and Hyperius. There are three prison camps. Uh, the interesting thing about the prison camps, given that you haven't completed the, you know, like what the, like an accompanying AA gun, but to put it this way, the first camp I went to, if you noticed, once uh, once I rescued the the Marines, and drove far enough away where it reset. You can go back, all the enemies are respawned, and your prisoners are respawned. Even though you rescued two of them, you have the two uh, prisoners with you. You can go get two more. The thing is, I'm only going to use two because I have a hog with, uh, you know, for just two seats. And I'm not going to wait around and drive five miles an hour so these guys can, can uh, keep up with me. Ideally, as I think about it, the best thing for this is to get into this this uh, building, kill what I need to kill, like one or two things, get the Spartan core, and leave. But park far enough away so that your Marines don't go inside. Oh, the other reason why I want to kill those enemies on the dock is because when you get out, your Marines are pretty much just going to be hanging out here. And uh, I feel like they're going to get engaged with the enemies on the dock, and I don't need them to do that. I don't need them to get engaged with the enemies in the uh, th that storage building with the Spartan Corps. So it's it's just a matter of trying to keep them herded. So I just you know wanted to get those enemies killed. I want to get this hog positioned to where to do some damage. once the core is destroyed and I exit, I want to be able to exit and land where the hog is and hop in and get out of, you know, make sure I'm that close to the explosion. So in this area here is kind of one of those places where you hop out, see there's the door, you hop out and you got the hog right here. I'm out of here. So I was saying about the prison camps, you can reset them over and over and over again. The thing is, you really don't have much need for the, uh, the Marines. If you're on foot, yeah, if you don't want to bother with a hog, yeah, sure. But they kind of get in the way. At least that method, you're not going to have problems. But if you want to keep specific Marines in specific seats on the hog, the more Marines you have, the less likely you're going to get the right Marine in the right seat. You're not going to get cooperation. So here again, full shield, hop down, go to get in the hog. Hit the explosion. Once again, I didn't get in the seat first. I didn't get in first. So there it is again. How did I get and the shield took damage. Or something. Chief, we're being contacted on UNSC channels. Com signature belongs to the Spartan Theodore Sorrel. The one we found. Okay. Dead. So now it's put it through. Get my Spartan. weapons and equipment. Spartan. Weapons loaded. I did not bother to kill all these enemies, but I decided to go in here to at least try and get my shield back off of one of these enemies. And I'll leave this in because this is just one of the things that is just utterly frustrating. I get this elite that follows me. I think he ends up just killing me or something. I, I don't recall. Oh yeah, the, uh, the Marines go inside. Here I am walking away. And they keep going in, they keep going in, they keep engaging. I am trying to get away so that they come follow me. This is crazy. What the fuck are you doing? out of here. We've got to move. Not yet. Hold position. When this goes bad, it's on you, Hey, asshole! Remember that. Get out! 
more than that to take us down. I see no threats to us. So here I'm trying to get them herded. I'm trying to get them out of the... And nope. He's going up the lift. God, you and dies. Now it's like herding cats. The frustration level is high on this. Chief, now I gotta try to remember where am I channel. at now. Plum's signature belongs to a Spartan Theodore Sorel, the one we found dead. But at least the core is destroyed. Spartan. I think at just this point, I just want to get my shield back. So I think I want to. What I probably should do is park further away from the building. So that the uh, Marines won't be close enough to follow. I can go in, get my shield back, and then get out before they decide to uh, go inside and try and help out. Or not help out. They're sending a Spartan killer? Chief. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, I got to get out of here. That was a bit unlucky. Not yet. And I had to stay in here longer. Because I'm getting shot by Remember that. By that mangler. No, let's go. No! Here I'm getting far enough away. They are following this time. I used a lot of sword, but it turns out I'm going to take the uh, stalker with me anyway. I don't even think I used the stalker, but I will mention some areas where you I'm can... Uh, Let's go. Ready to move. Before taking your hog into combat, you can, from distance, try and set up and see if you can take out some of the... Enemy. What is going on with this Marine? Get in and let's go. Been hiding out in caves for months. You have any idea how much weird crap I've had to eat? Guess I was thinking about taking the uh, sword. So I was saying you can uh, kind of, in advance, from distance, use the stalker. You get your stalker full and try and take out some of the enemies from distance. Whether it's a, uh, you know, a grunt or two, uh, the uh, like a brute or something like that. That it'll, it'll make it easier. I don't do that in this run. It's just some of the things I thought of as far as what's Orders. improvements, what kind of improvements can be done with this mission. Here we go. And so that was one of those would be to kind of shoot some of these enemies uh, from Ready distance. And it will come in more, more into play on this third AA gun, the uh, West AA gun, because it's going to be difficult. There's a tight, compact area... It's not very friendly to driving. I do have a route that I can drive. And these guys, they will do good work. It works out well. I say it works out well. You, there's lots of bad luck. It's so easy to get stuck by a nade, to get stunned, stuck by a nade again, shot up by a heat wave. Long distance capabilities online, Chief. So here we're going to get the new, the new hog. Undamaged hog. Fresh, ready to go. <laughs> This is a really big And gun. they're in the wrong seat. And there's one of those getting shot at by one of those grunts from from distance. So it'll be good to finally take these guys out. They're just annoying. I'll just leave this here. Hell yeah! Get him in the right seat. Get going. Let's get going. I'm not sure if you Did noticed, but when I uh, started this, the Marines were male. And when I got in the Ghost to take Dango's out the enemies up. on the at the elevator dock, when they got re when the Marines got reset, and then they changed gender and they're female. I didn't have a problem with it or anything like that. It was just an interesting interesting to note that uh, they changed. So up there where I'm looking at, I just did the scan. There's a another Spartan Core. There's going to be Spartan Core 505. That'll be the last one that I'm going to be dealing with here. 
There's also a uh, two more uh, propaganda towers. One of them you can just barely see. It's just just uh, you can see the top of it. And there's another one which I'm gonna miss, and because it's easy to miss, you're not, you're not even gonna see it. You probably won't even hear it. And so once this mission is over, I'll look at the map and notice it, and uh, then I'll just go get it, and then then I'll leave the area and, and leave the mission. So that everything will be done on this island. So that's the last Spartan core. Make sure to see if these guys get in the right seat. Yes, they do. Good, thank you. There will be some more grunts. There's going to be a brute at this... Oh, there's three brutes at this uh, brute propaganda tower. Did good. You have a jackal up there. One of them bird freaks you can the drive rifle. up there. You notice that little path. There's just kind of almost in front of me, just a little left. Yeah, that path right there. That can drive you up to where the uh, the uh, jackal is. So more grunts. There's again a brute waiting at that propaganda tower. I'm gonna be trying to keep my eye on that. Jackal sniper. You're about to get rolled. Keep it tight, Marines. <laughs> Enemy grenade, move. See you in hell, Vanish. Damn right. See, there's a kinetic and plasma ammo dispensers, so I can ammo up. I think that jackal is dead. I think I'm gonna go up there and look for him. By the way, it, it, it'll be you'll notice here in a moment. See that grunt that's on the cliff edge. He's going to get embedded in the ground somehow. And it's going to happen right now. Yeah, we're looking for him, and there he is. He's trapped under, under the ground. The Marines can't shoot him. They, they shoot at him, but they're not going to hit him. Yep. Can't, drove, can't drive over him. Or can't splatter him. But you can punch him, which I'll find out here in a little bit. So I'm going to go up here and look for this jackal, which the Marines killed and I didn't notice or pick up on that they did. I think the gunner shot like a uh, like a Oops. coil that may have killed him. I'll just leave this. I'll find his weapon up here. Alright, so to this point, we've seen one prison camp. That was at the start. I'm about to work my way, and you'll see a second one. And the third one is at the top of the elevator of the West AA gun. So those are your three. That'll be the three uh, prison camps. Again, to tower three of four. The reality is, I didn't need to mess with this grunt. I could have just punched him once. Hey, me! Oh, melee, not shoot. Get in there and fight! Yep, that was a melee and got contact. But at this point, I could have just like taken that and just left him. Maybe I'm engaging with him because I'm unaware. I'm not sure if he can shoot back or fire back or make contact, you know, shoot us or something like that. So I think that's why I just got rid of him. So I want to mention again, this is one of these... Ready to do some things dead. I wanted to mission at the very beginning of this mission. Ready to move. There's the fast travel is offline. 
Um, there is there's some items that um, that are not available. I'll never believe this bag at home. We can get. So yeah, saying there's no fast travel, there are no fobs, so that means you cannot requisition anything. By the way, this is the second prison camp. There he goes pretty much into camo mode. So yeah, I took these guys out. There's one more grunt remaining. He's around the corner, down the path, and being I've got a damage shield, I'll just make my way down and get my shield off of him. And of course, I have to. He always has to get me with the nade, or just drop the nade. Uh, so I got a good shield. Now, if I freed these prisoners, they would interfere with the current Marines I have, and they'll take up a seat that I don't want them to take up. So I'm not going to free them. I don't have need to free them. But to think about what could be done here is you could lay down, if you wanted to work out a way of lay down some weapons that you want them to pick up and discard the weapons that are laying around that you don't want them to have, like throw them off the cliff or something like that. If there's a rocket launcher or you, you know, back down the path that was a rocket launcher, carry and drop off and they could pick up a rocket launcher, maybe give them something that you want them to use, a stalker, uh, anything other than, you know, they pick up a mangler is not going to help. And then just make sure you're far enough away and they'll follow along or something like that. But I don't recommend them being wrong because they'll just kind of kind of mess up. So here I'm stopping because I don't want the enemies to see me. There's going to be an elite down here. As it turns out, the Marines are doing good. They can kill them, the elite just fine. I'm going to hop out and shoot him before he can activate his shield. So it's a simple one-shot headshot and he'll be done. And now all the other enemies know uh, that there's there's a threat. So I might just take out a... Oh! Yeah, trying to. Can't get the headshot. But that one worked out just fine. But the thing was, I didn't really need to do that because now I have to mess around with getting these guys in the right seats. We'll see if they claim the same seats as they did. Go. So good, they got in the correct seats. Good. Oh yeah, I'll have fun with this. Can't kill a bunch of cockroaches, huh? Pathetic. Get ready to meet my bumper. So, I do want to take out these enemies at the top of the lift. So my sword is not full. In this storage room is two swords on a rack, a weapon rack. Which means each one is 100%. And once again, I wonder what hope that these guys get in the, in the right seat. Mm -hmm. And this time, no, they don't. Buckled in. Let's get going. So this is difficult. This took several tries on this dock to to get all the kills and get it done. I think I'm going to leave in and show, show maybe a death or two. I, I don't recall here, so we'll we'll see what uh, how this goes. So I think I already had a couple, two or three deaths, and so what I want to do is hop out and just kind of look and see what's going on up here, what the threats are. So the, uh, the main threats, there's just two main threats, and each, and like I talked about the previous one, uh, there's just one brute and one elite, but like I was saying, if you focus your fire on one of them, then the other ones, the other ones, and all the other enemies are trying to take an advantage of you and try and get shots on you. So I was kind of hoping to get a shot on the elite to see if maybe his shield was down, maybe he wasn't alerted. I'm not sure if these guys are alerted, but I think it turns out they have their shields on, so they all know I'm in the area and I'm a threat, but they don't. They don't know where I'm at, and I guess they're just alerted. But I was hoping to, like, take just get a headshot on the Elite, but he's not showing. He does have a shield up. Yeah, so he's alert, so there's no... So, yeah, I was expecting that uh, Brute to make contact and recognize or see me. Here I finally had to fall back so that my Marines wouldn't go up there and 
get killed. So the uh, oh Let's go. as I had mentioned going. before about trying to plan or at least do the method of this is try either stick to the outskirts, stick to the disc, stick distant. Yeah, just right away got shot by a rocket launcher. And as it turns out, that was the only time I was killed. But well, I don't want to say it was the only time. There was another time, but it was after I was in the complex. It seemed like that was the only time in the approach I was killed by a rocket launcher. All the other times he missed or didn't shoot. So that time he just fired in the where he, he led his shot and since I was yeah that was kind of an oddity I ran him over and he survived it was a full-on splatter but it just took a shield out so as I'm trying to explain here I don't want to drive into the middle of these guys I want to try and stick to a perimeter I do want to keep them in front of me but the thing was I should have just stayed along the bridge and stayed to this side instead of going on to the dock because then it puts me in the middle of all the enemies. I can get stunned, I can get stuck by a nade, and that's what happened over and over and over was even though I took a different route, I took different paths, I took different ways, just like that. It, I mean, yeah, it's, the grunt is like behind a box. And the moment I'm he sees you, he throws Let's a go. nade. Let's get going. Just kind of going slow or going too slow. So okay, I want to stay go. distant. But being I'm impatient at this point, I want to take out this elite. This is one way that it works out because none of the other enemies are involved or help out. And here was the other time killed by a rocket launcher. Like the moment he saw me, I'm fired the rockets. Let's go. Got Let's me. get going. And I'm in I'm in the building and he saw me when it, and then shot right away. So those are your two big threats. After you take So I'm gonna try and at least get the splatter on him or he got killed. And then back here where all the other other enemies cannot see me, I'm gonna take try and take out this elite. That elite will shoot with the heat wave. Catch me with a nade. And then he takes a sword out and can do quite a bit of damage on the hog. And if you notice, he took the sword out and switched back to the heat wave. So I, I like the game added that variety in instead of... I think in prior games, if they change weapons, they stick with the weapon that they change to and they don't switch back. But I like that they, they stay in dynamic and uh, switch to And like I said, I was right in the middle, and it's exactly what we don't want. And that's why you get killed. That's why I get killed. I was impatient. Oh my goodness, was I impatient? I had had about, a, about enough of this, and I got lucky. I didn't get stabbed. I stabbed him once, and then just punched him. So I didn't want to use up all the sword. Plenty of sword ammo though, but get wasteful with the sword. Then there's a uh, two more grunts here. Yeah, so there's one over here. Oh, do not get any more shots than that. Otherwise, I'll be taking damage. Here come my Marines trying to help me out by throwing nades at me. Thanks a lot, you clowns. Okay, in this building I'm looking at, I'm going to put a, probably put a threat sensor. There is a rocket launcher. It's just a, it's a two-shot rocket launcher. You got to reload it when you grab it. What my plan here now is there's a shade turret, and I want to take out the shade turret, and I'm going to use a rocket launcher to do that, and I'm going to position myself uh, down here, pretty much just steps away from this spot here. And I'll be able to take out the uh, shade turret. It turns out that there was an enemy in the shade turret, and I guess it got out, or it was just in a previous checkpoint, and I had died or whatever, and they were shooting at me. Uh, I'm gonna get this rocket launcher, and I'm gonna go get the uh, the ammo from the other one, and then I'll take out that shade turret. It can be a problem trying to get to it, get shots on it. It's in a tough spot. So there's that rocket launcher on the second deck. This is going to be a safe way of taking out the uh, shade turret. 
even if it's occupied. Here in just a moment, we'll be able to see it. Put a threat sensor down. I don't think it shows on the threat sensor unless it's occupied. So there I can now see it. So yeah, it does not show unless it's occupied. Well, that takes care of that big threat. That's a big one. The This fight about to go up to up there in that area, which, by the way, there's still some more enemies I need to take out before going up there. So let me get to that. There's going to be, I think it's like a couple grunts and a brute major. I'm going to take those those out, and then there's a uh, jackal sniper. So we'll get those taken care of, and then I'll head on to the final portion of this AA gun. And it is quite difficult. You can just, as I've mentioned many times, so many ways you can die, and it's so easy to die on this uh, at that last point, that last portion, and I'll get to that once once I get there. So here's going to be two grunts and a brute major. They're they're not hard at all. This isn't difficult. This is just kind of a one. -time, this is an easy one-time thing to do, depending upon whether you have a shield or not, or want to get your shield back. You want to take out that sniper so that he ain't gonna cause you grief as you try and get your shield back off this grunt here. That was really close. I, I thought for sure that had stuck me. Interesting. He, he, I caught him with the grapple, and it didn't stun him. But that time it stunned him. Uh, it's just inconsistent. So that that jackal there, that jackal sniper, I want to get him killed. Oh yeah, I'll have fun with this. So I'm waiting for him to peek, and then I'm gonna take him out. I think he's peeking right now. Yep, there we go. So now it's to the final portion. There are numerous grunts. There are several elites. Several brute majors. This is... This is a cluster mess. This is a mess. But if you'll notice my route that I drive. I get splatters. If it works out, I can splatter some of these guys and do it early. And it makes this easier. But there's a lot of enemies here. Lots of things can go wrong. You can bump into things, get caught on things. It's not a easy. It's not friendly for driving. You're not going to drive fast. You can't drive fast. If you try and drive fast, I mean the rocks and the tree stumps and boxes and crates, and all the rockets are going to get fired. They hurt them. Home guys throwing the nades. You try and splatter. You miss. There, I'm caught with a nade. So I had a good run going, so yeah, I'm going to show a, a death or two just to show just what a mess this is. Which is why I was saying one of the things you might do is take the stalker rifle, get yourself some high ground, and see if you can pick off a few of these guys before doing this run. But this is an afterthought after watching the film, looking this over, doing the commentary here. For improvements, that's one of my things that I would have is I want to get myself some high ground. Right up there in the, the rocks in the upper right, there's a place there with cover, and I can pick off some enemies, pick them off as they step out, and try and take out at least, you know, a couple of them. And let's take a few out. There, thanks. That brute that I just splattered took out an elite for me. Thanks a lot. That was awesome. Then here, just real quickly, got stunned. Hog is on fire. Taking quite a bit of damage. Almost got stuck by that, so there was a bit, a bit of good luck. But just interesting enough how the hog can easily roll and turn and twist and just get yourself in a bad position. So now I'm back to my start, and I'm going to resume the path I was going. It's a, and I'm waiting for the uh, stun effect from the disruptors to die off before doing the run again, so I'm free and clear of uh, disruptor fire. Got a good splatter, so took out another important group. Now, I'm kind of going off the reservation here. I'm trying to splatter and get this elite. This doesn't exactly go quite well, so he's evasive, and I just want to drive away and reset and try and start it over again. Oh, yeah, let's do this.
here goes another round. There's still a brute or two. There's still one more elite. There's still two or three more grunts. Got a checkpoint there. And I like that he's just going to cover up. Oh, that rocket just missed. Took out two more grunts. That nade just missed. And that elite is down. Hijacks my gunner. And thanks to the sentinel beam. We got, they're all dead now. On the ground, they're all dead. There's still a grunt or two and an elite up in the, uh, the hexagon piers up above. And they're just going to shoot down on me, and I decide, you know, I feel like I'm going to need a shield, so I'll save, I'll save them to get my shield back, and I think I'm going to do it, yeah, here they're going to start shooting. One of them's got a plasma pistol. I don't know which, what has a plasma pistol up there. I don't know if it's a jackal, or if it's a grunt, I find it odd that it could be a mule, but I don't think there's any mules. I don't even know if there's a mule in this mission. But I'll mention there's a there's possible evidence of a mule, uh, but that'll be later on. I'll mention it. So here I'm going to get myself a sword. I want to go up there and um, take out the the enemies here. I think I'm going to try a long shot with a rocket and see how that goes. And it was just kind of good luck that I got with this. So we'll put a threat sensor up here to identify where they are. There's at least a grunt showing up. There's going to be an elite show up. There's the elite showing up. There is two grunts up there. The other one is just not showing up on the threat sensor. I'm looking around for more more rocket launchers. There should be there should be several. Spartan. Outstanding work. That. Uh, that was fortunate and that worked out. As you notice, as you pulled up to this AA gun, that lift is already activated. You can just kind of... There's there's that elite. And, yeah, that's what the lift will do. It redirects the rocket, and... That worked out well. Splash damage. Boom skull. Thank you very much. And that blasted him off down into a f empty abyss. I'm looking in the direction where the other grunt is. Good He's just not in the threat sensor, no so I'm contact. waiting for my threat sensor no to die out and place another one. There it goes. Place it out over there, and there he shows up. So now I can go What's up? get that one and get my shield back off of that grunt. Come on, Chief. Yeah, I realize this is taking some time. It's taking a while. Should have taken the sword. Or no, I think I am carrying the sword. feel better if I got behind him so he didn't try and throw a nade. One slice. I find that interesting. One slice. He was not damaged. And most of the time it takes two swipes to take out these uh, jackal, uh, these uh, front majors. The sword's full now. I think I'm... Do I have my BR? I think I'm looking for my BR. Uh... Hi. Yeah, I'm looking for my BR. And I will find it. Marines. We got stuff to kill. I want to mention 
I don't want to take the heat wave and use the heat wave on the core because the heat wave ricochets and can come right back and cause you damage. And then also to think about it, after the fact, I could have saved that grunt for after I had done. So here I wanted to get far enough away from the explosion to see if maybe that AA gun explosion is There's what caused my shields to get singed. The first part is Hand of Atriox. And then what? Here I can't tell because Deploy. my scan is was active and there was a... Chief? Where are you? Kind of a after effect. We're on our way. I'm sorry, Chief. I can't see. I want to get him in the right seats. I've lost his signal. If the Spartan killers find him. So here, there's some thinking and some parts of the process. There's How my BR. Sure? Because they is uh, uh, the first. final the final portion of this. I want to take um, two hogs. One of them is a contingency. And as a backup, in case something goes wrong with the with the primary one, I'm gonna be riding in. Got my BR finally. Got that picked up. And so I'm gonna free the prisoners, which is the third set of prisoners, on the dock of the elevator, like the top of the elevator. Buckle up. And I'm gonna get these two Marines in the hog. When you park here, I'm just yep. My my How shield is, is singed. singed. Are you yep. kidding me? Now, I believe it took damage. Yeah. I think it took damage from the core, from destroying the core. Because I really seemed like I was plenty far away from that AA gun explosion. So when you take these Marines in a hog and park them on the elevator, they will stay in the hog. So that's a good thing. So that way they won't get run around and they don't get, get confused with the other Marines and stuff like that. And I'm going to have one passenger Marine with one Sentinel Beam. And as a backup, um, they'll be in this hog with the standard Sentinel Beam in the passenger yes, seat. So I'm going to get the new hog. The new hog is going to be Ready necessary to for the Ready final battle. I do not want anything damaged on this hog because you can take a lot of damage from the scrap cannons and so any uh, brute snipers with their skewers and stuff like that. You can take a lot of damage and take damage quick. So before I free these prisoners, I want to put park this hog with these marines and they're going to stay in this hog. And I think what I'm looking at is I want to take... Want, I want to take the the weapon. I want to take the Sentinel Beam from the gunner and give it to these uh, other Marines. And I think that's what my thought process is. I'm trying to think this through. Hey, uh, Chief. So the good thing was that he that he she got out of the uh, the gun as as I requested. Oh, I just how funny how they switched. Oh my goodness, give me a headache. Exiting. When they hop out of the hog, you got to give it two, maybe three seconds, and then the Marines are movable. Then you can push them around. The moment they step out, within the first couple seconds, they're stationary, and you really can't move them around. You got to give them a few seconds to kind of get established. Here, I'm trying to just move some of these crates out of the way. So I can make room for the other hog. Secondly, I'm also going to use the backup hog, like the damaged one, to take out the enemies at the bottom of the elevator, because that area is going to reset. So I have to kill all those enemies again, because it's all going to reset. And I don't want to damage or take damage with the new hog. So I want it to be fresh. All right, I wait for these these Marines to pick up their weapons and get, you know, get their feet on the ground and get established and ready to go. And then I'm going to give them the Sentinel Beam. Hey, hey, Chief. Yeah, you're my passenger. 
So at this point, they're free. They're walking around. I don't have to mess with the other Marine. It doesn't matter what weapon they're carrying. Because they're going to be in the gun. And let me make Come sure on. that she's Follow linked. Me. Yeah, they're both linked. Now I'm going to head down to the other backup hog. Yeah, you're going to get in the wrong seats, aren't you? That was more fun than I thought it'd be. Oh, you're probably going to ask, why don't you just switch their weapons? Being that I've kicked them out, they're going to swap or they're going to change places anyway. So what had happened in, in, in trying to learn how this worked, how has worked out cuz you know, it's been many times been through this many, many times to, you know, dissect the rhyme or reason and how they're scripted to do things. The thing is, you, you kick them out or you get out of the hog and they get out, you can change their weapons and switch them. You go back in the hog and then they'll just go in the wrong seats again. I mean, it's just kind of like I just, you know, took the sentinel beam away from the gunner, gave it to the passenger. Now just get right back into the, get back right back in your seats and then you just gave the sentinel beam to the passenger, and the passenger then gets in the gun, and it's maddening. So the method I've come up with is kick out the gunner by pushing your jump button, which would be your switch seat, kicks them out, and then just uh, then you pretty much kind of get back in. But what you just kind of push around the uh, yeah, I got some help from the other hog there. Thanks a lot. That was good. Uh, it's just uh, push the uh, push them around so that. The closest one will get the gun. The furthest one away will get the passengers. And being that the one was just kicked out isn't is really not going to uh, first and foremost get into the. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of surprised I took two shots of the heat wave on this damaged hog because it, yeah, it was ready to go. It actually kind of held together quite well for this run. Yeah, I'm taking shots from the Mangler. And also keep in mind, during this time, my Marines are still sitting in the hog, on the elevator, twiddling their thumbs, and not doing stupid stuff. This isn't really that difficult. I don't recall dying during this portion, but leaving, of all things, turned out to be difficult. And I'm gonna leave a death in just to kind of show you why. Actually, it was a suicide because Marines did something stupid and I had to suicide and reset everything. Go back. Gotta take out those two grunts in that uh, little storage building. I am. Chief, I, knew you'd I am to not gonna free these Marines. This somehow turned out to be difficult. I don't know why this was difficult, other than that I did not get to grapple the enemy, and this grunt was just shooting me, and it took out my shield. The whole point of going in there was to get my shield back and he got free shots on me because I wasn't able to grapple what I wanted to. So I think this is like three, I think it took me three times to get this right. I just had a hard time. Because here come the my Marines to help me out. And yep, he's dead. I think we did it. And we damaged it? my shield again. Until that time, I was able to grab him, and he only got like a couple shots on me with the disruptor, and so I was able to get him taken care of. And they just, and that just looked easy. And it just goes to show, just when the Grapple doesn't work and grapple what I want to. The sequence doesn't work out the way I was 
that I had it planned on. It just didn't work out right. I'm aboard. Let's go. This so I'm getting a little antsy with, um, and at this point I only use any other Marine, so I don't have to put these guys in the right seat. So, yeah, it just turns out I didn't need to put them in the right seat, but I just went ahead and did it anyway. Come on, get in the gun. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Because I want to make sure my Marines are still good on the elevator. You're gonna hear these phantoms over and over and over and over again. Get me out of here. Now, if this was a mistake. Sir? I should not have given this Marine the uh, rocket launcher, but I felt that with the rocket launcher, it'd be more helpful. Because if if they do manage to follow along, they'll they'll lock on and shoot enemies from distance, and in most cases, it's not going to affect me. But we'll see why it did turn out to not work out well. So at this point, when I was trying to leave, and I go up to the gate and get out, open the gate and get back in, the these marines followed and. Then they got confused, and I could not get my Marines in the right seat. And then the, I had the wrong ones linked to me, and it was just a real mess. So what I did to overcome that and to avoid that is I took these Marines and drove just a little further away and had them follow me so I was far enough away from them to get out of the hog, open the gate, get back in the hog with my Marines in the, and Marines in the right seat, the correct seat, and it's all good. So I just drove across the bridge, drove back here into this corner, allowed these Marines to follow me, which is explaining why I'm doing what I'm doing here. Let these guys come all the way back here, and it gives me plenty of time. And again, like I said, it's just phantom after phantom after phantom. I just wonder if there's a trigger line or something that triggers it. But it's just, a, it's just over and over and over. They don't shoot. They don't get involved. So that's a good that's a good thing. And that's another reason why if they got a rocket launcher, they'll shoot the they'll shoot the phantom. So here I go. The one mistake I made here looking back is I should park the hog to the right side of that um, crate. Because then it went it made this too far. Because the gunner got out. You go too far away from the hog, the gunner will get out. Actually the gunner did stay in, but you go far enough away from the hog. Come on, get in, get in! Boy, my goodness, you talk about the frustrations. Get in the hog. Get in the hog. Oh, my God. And then I head out. There's my help from my Marine. And that means I got to do that mess all over again. It's re this really oh, isn't so that boring. hard. Hate to die here. It's just so many things, just bad luck, and so many things can go wrong. So yeah, the good thing is, is just drive over here, allow the Marines to uh, work their way over here. When they get to here, then just drive over to the right side of that crate, just right by the button. So when you hop out, you're right there at the button. Push it, hop right back in, and your passenger isn't going to wander too far, and we'll just jump right back in, and in that way you'll be able to engage those enemies outside the gate without those Marines helping you out. So here again, like I said, it was just, I didn't get it right. This is after the fact. Is it park to the right side? You'll park right by the button, hop out, and they hop right back in. And from distance, so if they throw nades, and I'm, I'm far enough away to avoid them, and my guys are gonna, we'll be able to get the kills on these, on them. I noticed after the fact that my uh, passenger is not shooting. That is not good. Oh, thanks for the nades again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I just I've just had enough with my Marines trying to help me out. So I'm gonna move on and, sh and show you just really kind of how Jeez, if if this is easy or if this is hard. This is why you have the Sentinel Beam. I guess that's one of the Spartan. And this is why you have the Arcane and Sentinel Beam. The one. You get the, there, the the one you need to stop uh, in the in the vehicle, 
in the chopper. He's he's hard to kill if he's not in the vehicle. You made him mad. But if he's down. in the vehicle and you blow up the vehicle, he's going to die from die from the explosion of the vehicle. And you get one down already. The other one is going to be somewhat want to stay in cover, but still can be aggressive and head over this way. I'm going to leave a death end to show you just kind of kind of some ridiculousness with uh, this skewer. I'm going to have some bad luck with the skewer here. I shouldn't have get exposed. I should have just... See, this was the mistake, because I came right out here in the middle of everything. And I have not had a skewer do that to me in a hog. So I... Just bad luck. I hope he tastes better than he fights. Skewer should not be... That was that unexpected. Chopper? I realized I the skewer could do that. Games. And I really, really... So anyway, yeah, there's the other one. second attempt here. This is, you know, like I said, it's right. easy. But this was just kind of bad luck. Kind of got hit by the chopper and blew me up. See that chopper? I guess that's one of the Spartan killers. And there's the other one. Up there, in the wreckage. You need to stop them. So you take out these two enemies here, easy oh. enough, and you want to stay pretty much in this area. That way the other enemies aren't going to get to you. So kind of got clipped, you shoot it, it blows up, and he dies. So that's what you want. If he gets out of the vehicle, he survives, and he's going to be really hard to kill, and then this becomes very difficult. As you saw on the first run, just drove right up to to the uh, chopper. If the chopper sideways, which is what you want, you can easily blow it up. And one of them is already down. He makes a mistake here, and it gets aggressive, and this is just easy. Right here, the gunner shooting him, passenger shooting sentinel beam, bam, he's dead. Both of them dead in like a minute. That was just easy. That wasn't easy, was it? What so this sniper decided to uh, switch to the that mangler, and so he was uh, an easy Nothing. kill. But I think I can. Yes. So that rocket missed. Cones that so sniper, yep, he got me. But I'm in good enough shape. Piece. Just need to take out the last of these enemies, the and the then this mission will be done here in, in just a matter of seconds. Okay. As far as the enemies to kill. So really, this was, as far as I remember. You know, regular legendary or whatnot. This mid, this portion of these two, uh, these this boss fight was very difficult. I remember this being extremely difficult. I'm always always wondering how am I going to do this on Lazo? It was hard enough to do on legendary, but of course, that was without watching videos, without seeing tips, techniques, tricks. Here's what you want to do videos with these with this boss fight and stuff like that. Hadn't seen the episode. So I'm just going at it straightforward. Just straight into it and just trying to get them killed. Pretty much without a hog, without Marines, without help. And uh, just taking them straight on. And it is very difficult. But load up this hog. Arcane Sentinel being passenger. And it was it, they were both of them were dead within a minute. And it just it just looked so easy. It just looked easy. You know, I just had those what two or three deaths, and like I said, I wanted just just to leave those in, just to kind of show. Yeah, it was had the bad luck with the chopper getting hit by the chopper, and the bad luck with getting hit by the uh, the skewer. Here's that uh, hydra. So if you see that trash bin, there's a hydra right in there. So at the beginning of the game, if you want to. If you don't have a sentinel beam, the hydra will work. Just know that you will have to play this much slower. It will be much slow play in this one. This is where I question if there was a mule, because there's a sniper rifle and a and a ravager. Who's got the sniper rifle? You typically a uh, mule is going to carry a sniper rifle. And I want to say because I, mean, I still have a memory of. Playing this, I guess hungry. it was a legendary Got run, bored. no skulls or anything, I'm good. but being shot at by a brute with a sniper rifle. I mean, I was just dead set on it, and I was really kind of wondering if it was one of the war chiefs, if it was the Tavares or Hyperius that had a sniper rifle. But there was my first time that I saw a sniper rifle it. I'm on foot. in this basin here in the uh, in the water in this area. 
because it's it's not there at the beginning. So getting near the end of this mission, you're going to leave part of this cutscene in because at least when you get to see the Marines show up in the cutscene along with the burning hog, it's got a nice effect. It looks neat. The oddity was I don't know why the dialogue wasn't wasn't audible and couldn't hear it, so I don't know what happened there. Uh, but the cutscene is neat. You know, I got to see the hog in it and got to see my Marines and you know, but anyway, I'll just go ahead and kill it here in a moment. It'll go away. Um, I will recognize when I look at the map that there's a propaganda tower to collect. It's up near the the uh, West AA gun. It's just a and there's no enemies there, so it's just go on foot, go get it, and then come back and then get this thing done. Uh, if I can mention, uh, goodness, there's. There was just a whole lot of stuff to talk about. Granted, a lot of stuff was really not in the order I wanted to because I wanted to have an introduction. I wanted to have an, a lot of talk about uh, the makeup of this mission, its difficulties, its challenges. And as you notice, there are numerous challenges. Without Bandana, you have to make use of the resources you have available to you. Um, even if that, if it, even if it's not much ammo, if it's dropped ammo, you know, drop weapon with half ammo and things like that, it's very challenging. But where this comes into play and where this helps people, just as in Holy real crap. life, this what helps out with your problem-solving skills. You're faced with these, you know, difficult challenges, and you are forced with having to adapt, overcome, and improvise with what is in front of you, instead of using methods of glitches of uh, doing fast travel, launching yourself across a map, doing uh, some kind of ground pound, clipping through walls, skipping stuff, skipping entire fights, skipping a mission, skipping half a mission. Just, you know, you're not, you're not necessarily solving anything. Ultimately, what I'm trying to do is solve the problem of this is what the uh, developers did, this is what is put in front of you. And I'm just kind of going headfirst into it and adapt, overcome, and improvise with what with what you're faced. And with what you have to make use of the resources you have. And that's what I was able, that's what I've done. Really the message I just want to get across. I, I think this is challenging, especially without bandana. Uh, and if I hadn't mentioned it, yeah, sure. Bandana, unlimited ammo, no cooldown on equipment, unlimited nades. You take that away, famine is in place, so no more unlimited ammo. You have to make use of the ammo that's around, and it's not much, and it completely changes um, your planning, it changes your fights, it changes how to attack and how you plan to go about everything. Uh, especially with, uh, if you had equipment, if you had like your grapple, I've seen many times people just grapple past the enemies, don't even fight them because there's no cooldown. Well, you can't skip, you're not going to be able to skip a lot of this stuff because you've, um, because you have to make, you have to make use of the equipment as in its normal, uh, setting. You get the cooldown, um. Same thing with like if you want to use the thruster and get the camo. Well, you can only you do it thruster twice. You have to have the cooldown, so you can't just spam it and then walk past enemies camoed. So here we are, the end of the mission. The Thank you for joining so for this. New and evolved. Join me different. for the next mission. Not like the last one. Uh, the sequence. And you're sure this and I'll is take the you one. through that one. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see. Spire. And please join me in the next one. the repair operation.